Can you imagine if the COVID virus was an evangelist? Super spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ all around the world, converting everyone it came into contact with. The virus, as we know it, has the ability to discern the weakest parts of our bodies and to penetrate just like the scripture which says, for the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. So, how can we all become super spreaders of the gospel from where we're at? It's kind of limiting, I know, when we're physically on lockdown, but if we take a look at the life of Apostle Paul and the work he managed to do from prison, it's amazing. Okay, writing like Paul may not be your thing, but just like the other scripture which says that God arranged the members in the body, each one of them as he chose, if all were a single member, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, yet one body. So this is going to require us to have a look at ourselves creatively, at what we have and at what we can do and commit it into God's hands for his glory. More time may be your resource so you could spend some more time praying for the nation. That's a massive contribution. Turn your walking routine, if you have one, into a prayer walk covering the areas you visit. You're breaking down strongholds whilst you're doing so. I know some individuals, they're still out evangelising whilst others are feeding the homeless. You may be a good talker and so you can talk with people. Call someone up. You may have other skills that God can use to help spread the good news. The effectiveness of what we do, we may never get to see it on this side, but in spite of what things may look like now, make a decision to do something. And whilst you're doing that thing, hold on to God and never let go. It is well with you because you matter to him. Know that if you find wisdom, there will be a future and your hope will not be cut off.